The Viner installation videos are to be used exclusively to support qualified and trained skilled workers. The full quality of Viner products can only be guaranteed by those professionals. Under no circumstances should anyone untrade attempt to fit Viner products using installation videos. Welcome to the Viner Plaza Viva installation instructions video. For installation, the following tools are required. Digital hose level or rotating laser for leveling of the heights. 8mm open end wrench. Set of Allen keys. 8mm socket spanner. Torque TN20 socket spanner. Torque TX40 socket spanner. Tape measure. The following accessories can be found in the accessory box. Sufficient number of wall brackets, end caps, drop profile locking device, rope clamp, post arrester, guide rail bracket, cassette bracket, two cover caps. Also included, Various sets of screws, crank, bracket for crank and break out cable. In the beginning, level the heights, here illustrated with a digital hose level. Afterwards, install the wall brackets. Carry out the same procedure on the other side. Attach the awning cassette to the brackets. For heavy units, use of an awning hoist is recommended. We now have measured to the size of the housing bracket. The total distance to the centre of the housing bracket is 150mm. Secure the awning with the fitting blocks. Release the locking screws on the side of the bracket to be able to move the awning. Measure the positions of the posts. Prepare the post for installation onto the ground. To do so, first slide the cover cap onto the post and then install the post plate. Align the post with the spirit level. Afterwards, drill into the post and install it. Carry out the same procedure on the other side. Align the posts with the spirit level. Mount the guide profile. Thread the fabric into the guide profile. Screw the guide profile to the cassette. Please observe previous dismounting of the screw. Carry out the same procedure on the other side. There are two options for the Plaza Viva available for order. One option without pre-mounted drop profile and the other with pre-mounted drop profile. In this video, the option without pre-mounted drop profile is explained first. Thread the flat rope into the front pulley block. It is important that the rope is threaded from the bottom into the end cap. Make sure that the rope is not twisted. Afterwards, insert the flat rope into the drop profile. Also here, make sure that the rope is not excessively twisted. First thread the flat rope through the pulley block and then through the pulley block at the clip. Slide the flat rope through the plastic web. Thread the flat rope through the rope clamp and connect both sides. Do not tighten the screws yet. Insert the guide profile into the guide profiles on the sides. In this process, make sure that the ropes are not positioned on the outside. Secure the drop profile with foam blocks against sliding out. It is recommended that the drop profile is inserted by two people. 
suspend the fabric at the drop profile. Secure the fabric with the drop profile. When fitting the option with pre-mounted drop profile, all ropes are threaded in and all that needs to be done is plugged the guide rail on the drop profile of the awning. Insert the end cap into the guide profile and tighten it. In this process, make sure the rope is not twisted. Carry out the same procedure on the other side. Afterwards, tighten the system with the ropes. Here are the two points and the preloading towel has to be tightened. I use the one closer to the preloading towel. I hold the point close to it and make a small loop. To make things a little bit easier, I also make a larger loop to slide through at all, if need be. However, one loop would be enough. Do not forget the serrated washers and this. Screw the support of the rope with the rope clamp. Slide the plastic protector over the rope clamp and insert the rope. Before cutting the green tape, please check the run of the rope. The rope must be tensioned and running over the rollers. Afterwards, cut the tape leader. On the side of the fixed post, only tighten the wall bracket. Secure the fixed post at the guide profile. Mount the resters of the adjustable post. Do not close and open the Plaza Viva if this telescopic post is fully raised. Provide the awning with power. The service opening for motor adjustment can be found here. Afterwards, the motor end positions are set. Move to the end positions. If the end position is reached, press and hold the close button until the awning is fully closed. The end position has now been set. With the option Plaza Viva with Valance Plus, the fabric support roller must always be mounted at the top. Please clip in the cover cap for the fabric support roller. Afterwards, attach the drop profile, cover and secure it with the included screws. At the end, check the function again. Thank you for your interest. If you still have any questions, please contact the service hotline.